बाल्टीमोर ब्रिज कोलैप्स नाउ वॉट द न्यूज ऑल अबाउट सो देर इज अ फ्रांसिस फ्रांसिस स्कॉट की ब्रिज फ्रांसिस स्कॉट की ब्रिज इन बॉल्टीमोर ओके सो रिसेंटली रिसेंट द नेम ऑफ दिस बॉल्टीमोर ब्रिज दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज एक्चुअली फ्रांसिस स्कॉट की ब्रिज आई टेल यू अबाउट फ्रांसिस एंड हाउ द नेम केम इन टू बी uh so that's a bridge in baltimore which has collapsed now how is it uh, how has it collapsed it has collapsed because a container ship a container ship which was passing actually collided with the bridge actually collided with the bridge and the entire bridge came collapsing down now the question is is this the issue of the container ship that collided to an extent yes uh, they could have been uh, you know uh, taking care of it that you do not collide with it but the problem is when you are when you are having a bridge right uh, let's say over a water body and you know that it's a very high traffic area and ships will pass so your design should also be such that if a ship hits it it should be able to sustain probably so it i you know it is very obvious that it would be designed for such uh, let's say uh, collisions the question is was the collision way bigger than what would be expected that would not generally be the case so then it would not just be the issue that this uh, you know container ship collided rather than the issue with the bridge itself was it not strong enough was it not designed properly and issues with respect to this also collision happened fine but then the bridge should not have fallen that is also one thing right it's a very common thing for uh, uh, like ships to pass from there so collision is obvious so when you are designing it should be designed for that so then what is the issue and how did it happen the experts are saying if you uh, look at the experts the experts are saying that this collapse of course there is a point that if ship would not have collided this would not not happen but then the experts are saying that this has happened due to design flaw design flaw it has happened due to the design flaw now what design flaw are they talking about first let us understand about the bridge this bridge this bridge is a steel structure as in made up of steel at the same time it has a truss arrangement now what is a truss arrangement generally steel structures use truss arrangement you will not see truss arrangements in uh, rcc that is reinforced cement concrete in cement and concrete structures you won't see truss truss is a feature of steel structures okay so what are truss basically nothing but there are steel structures assembled by making small small triangular structures of steel so uh, the thing is if you have this kind of a deck made now this will be like this so you can see this is a triangle 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 in between if you put this uh, support then this also becomes a triangle this also becomes a triangle this is the support this is the support this is the support this is the support now this has become a truss a steel truss as i said steel structure you would find truss in a steel structure this triangular triangular shaped steel structures are nothing but the truss okay so it was a steel structure it was a truss arrangement truss steel structure was present and uh, experts are saying that there was a design flow why design flow because this deck which was present as a truss it was suspended it was it was basically this is the entire bridge okay and at a particular place this was simply suspended and this is the bridge right so everywhere else this part is not there everywhere else 
only this road kind of a thing and the structure is there right but here in middle it also had a structure now this additional structure is adding dead load on it right and it was cable straight it was suspended it specifically this thing did not have any support the entire bridge had the support but specifically this thing did not have a support that is why the experts are saying that there was a this was a design flaw and it fell that is point number one point number two is it also they are talking also about the point of impact point of impact so this is over a water body so here you are having water for example here you are having complete water so let me draw this again too much of these uh, pillars which you can see when this pillars are there in a bridge it is known as piers so pillars when they are present in bridges they are called as piers okay uh, now this is there this is there this these piers are there to support right now this is the water level right they are saying that the ship which was there it hit and underground underground this pillar what will happen there will be a foundation foundation there will be a foundation so they are saying that the ship hit below the water the ship actually hit below the water where the foundation is weaker since it's below the water the foundation was weaker there was a design flow and since it hit at a weaker uh, location that is why the bridge collapsed now the issue is of course that's the reason but your entire design the concept of the flaw in the experts argument their arguments are correct but the issue is your entire design is made based on the weakest point so if i am making a building which can take 1000 tons so it should not be like only this particular place can take 1000 tons and if you go there it can take only 10 kgs and then suddenly someone goes there and falls no that need not be the case when i am designing a building or any structure for 1000 tons that means the weakest part should also be able to take this load is that clear so that this needs to be very clear so it is not just that it was on the weakest part it probably would be that that was not accounted for or the collision would have been bigger now more and more information will keep coming on research and everything will happen and more things we will get to know now let's come back to the baltimore bridge so as i said baltimore bridge is nothing but a bridge a francis key scott bridge in baltimore usa in its eastern seabed on the eastern side okay in its eastern seabed it is very important remember this so who was francis key now francis key was a poet who wrote the lyrics of usa national anthem so that becomes very important this was francis key scott and the bridge is named after this person he was the person who has written the lyrics of the usa national anthem now this bridge was on the patapsco river patapsco river in usa and is considered to be one of the most busiest busiest uh, busiest port the port on the banks of the river usa uh, river patapsco in usa in baltimore is on the eastern seabed is considered to be one of the most busiest ports in USA and due to this incidence the entire traffic was stopped and that actually helped to have any more uh, injuries or any more casualties presently the situation is such that six people are missing 
their search operation was going on but there ha it has been few hours that have already passed and the experts are now saying that in such a cold water after such a long time we do not expect these people to still be alive so they have for the time being called off search operations until the next day it may it will still continue but presently it has been called off assuming that that these people may not have survived it would resume tomorrow onwards okay so this is all about the baltimore bridge collapse you should know that it is on the patapsco river in usa in the baltimore region one of the busiest ports for you in usa also it was named after francis key scott right who was a poet who wrote lyrics uh, of the usa national anthem also the issues and how the bridge actually collapsed